Cause I don't have enough No second doubts Kabarana yek mi te you set me free Good morning to the sun Let's go for a walk Kimama ni kuki Fukase imanda YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So, why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view? Now, I have a reaction from the first take. I hope I'm getting the name right. Is it Nunabatch? The song's called New Era. I'm kind of like, what? But listen, episode 303, 303. And welcomes Nua Batch to the first take for the first time. Nua Batch is a brand is a band fully produced by JQ, and they perform New Era, an upbeat song. JQ um, professes it, um, is what started the band. Having moved from Japan to LA to focus on the music, Nua Batch created this special arrangement featuring new beats from their one hit performance on the one take. Now, I'm presuming Nua Batch is like a, a funk. If I'm, if I'm, like, I, I can't wait because I'm thinking it's, if I think it is the new batch that I'm thinking about, then it's like, what? <laughs> this is brilliant, honestly, because I have been doing my own diligent, due diligence, some, oh no, oh no, discovering artists from around the world and everything else. But it's always amazing when myself and the first take are in sync. And it's happened a number of times where what with Harry Styles coming on there, what with um, bandmate, um, not bandmate, um, Baby Metal coming on there. There's various artists that I've heard about from other social media, uh, from other social networks and proper, uh, you know, various, AKA, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But to have it coming onto the platform of the first take is somewhat special for me now. I'm not saying that I'm a connoisseur of the first take, but I'm, I'm loving the first take. <laughs> I, I've, I can't tell you. I have to now go back and find out when, what was my, my first ever first take reaction and when was that? I know it's got to be in this years. Yeah, I know, right? So I, got, I'm, I'm, I think that I first take now deserves its own playlist in my, on my channel. And so it's more easy for you guys to circulate around my channel. Um, as you know, like I said, I do music from around the world. So if you look into my Japanese catalogue is where you always see the Japanese artists. And there is a many, 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 many. Please go into it and check it out if you haven't done already. But I do, I do hold certain catalogues of certain uh, countries. If I um, react to over, say, uh, 200 or 300 reactions, then they, it goes into its own category. But other than that, it's got its own genre styles category. So you've got your R&B, soul... Um, reggae, country, folk, and if you go into there, you then you see the multiple artists from around the world in those particular ca categories. So please, by all means, check it out and let me know what you think of it. So look, let's go straight into my next reaction of today, which I'm very, 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 very excited about. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for: great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you do that? I love the individual styles of the artists that come onto the first take. The fashion sense <laughs> is just their own personal identity. Can you hear me or something? And it's not kind of like... I don't see more than two people just in the same way. Everybody's got their own kind of fashion identity and I love that. So today is a different version. You can tell by the way how he speaks, he's got this lovely, smooth, deep voice, hasn't he? Let's hear it, babe. Okay. Okay. Cause I don't have enough. What? No second doubts. I wasn't expecting this. Kabarana yek me tell you set me free. Set me free. Good morning to the sun. Let's go for a walk. Kimama ni cookie. Love 
love his vocals. Yeah. Surprising, I thought it was deep. It's gonna be deep, but it's not. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I'm in my realm now. This is my realm. Come on. I'll tell you what, if I was walking down the street and I saw that drummer, I would never think that he's a drummer. <laughs> never done before. Yeah, I lose you to make the memory. Something's good, I think it's coming, you got it. You clean the morning, say goodbye, do be right. Keep it cool, can't shoot the panic. You put no piss, my mood to have you. Don't worry, take it easy. It's alright. Turn up the radio. Turn up the radio. You got it, that's music, so fun. One in a million. One in a million. It's a god sending shit to fly. It's all about fun. Love the positive words. I'm on my feet, good luck. Cause I don't have enough. No second. Hear the bass line. Come on, and I hear me tell you set me free. Good morning to the sun. Love it. Let's go forward. Keep my money cooking. We've got to say good It's a pity that I'm all the money trap. He's got to LA. Me. My rough needs up, Nico. Let's go. Let's go. I can listen to this all day and night. I really can. But, yeah, I understand going to America, um, to America to pursue. ま、ちょっと for an artist like me, it's only been to market in Japan. Why would you go to LA? I don't understand it. I think that's a personal preference. Cause I don't have enough, no second thoughts. Come out and I hear me tell you set me free. I like it. Good morning to the sun. Let's go slow. I mean, that guy who played the road, he must be the coolest guy ever. Hey, yeah, break it down. Break it down, man. Here's the bass line. Him, he's got to be the coolest guy ever. I think everybody should have had their solo piece, but other than that, absolutely amazing. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is it Nobarich? I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. I, uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, song, New Era. Oh, I love the funk. 
I love the fusions. I love the fashion sense of the, the lead singer, the lead vocalist. I love his texture. It very, very surprisingly that when he was speaking, I presumed that he, was gonna, he will have a far deeper voice than the way how he was singing. So that caught me off guard. But once again, pleasantly surprised. Quite upset the fact that he's got, he went to LA, is it? He's moved from Japan to LA to focus on the music, on their music. Why? I assured you from, from the multiple amount of genre stars that's coming from Japan and the multiple, multiple amount of artists um, experimenting and expressing them way, themselves in amazing amount of genre styles of music, especially, and, you know, just giving you the Example, you know, on the first date, there's a hell of a lot of different kind of artists spreading, expressing different ways and unique, unique sounds. Um, brilliant. So I don't understand why you had to, you know, move to LA. I mean, look, you did, you did. As simple as that. If there was more of, if that's where your fans are based more, okay, fine. But... If it isn't, and you just thought, okay, you know, let's do this break America, like everybody else's dream. I, I don't know where it comes from, but it seems to me that majority of artists, their dream, as well as conquering the world, but it's been well established in a particular country other than their own. I thought being established in their own country would be more than enough. As, but, you know, there's always this kind of world domination when it comes to whatever talent that you want. You just want to be that best in the world. At it. That's what we strive to be. The best. And I don't know how it is for other countries, but certainly over, over in the UK, it's like once they become established or in that kind of top ranking, top five of an artist in that particular country, the first thing they want to do is, right, let's, dominate, let's go to it and see how we can break America. It's like, why? What, what, is, what is the fixation on a country which is... Not even a century, not even a, a, a half a century year old, I don't think. I don't think it's 500 years old yet. It could be, I'm not too sure. When there's other countries that is, you know, double that amount even, and, and times that, that has that deep histori historical musical culture where you can so much learn from. And now where you're moving away from a country that has so much deep in cultural music values and everything else which you can learn from into a new country that's just been kind of born in relation to where the country that you're coming from uh, to pursue your music career when you when you say it out loud like that it kind of feels like uh when you say it like that uncle mo it sounds really weird surely the countries that are the oldest should be more established in the music foundations let me know about your th thought on this. And ah, I don't know. It's just me being me, isn't it? I always think out the box. But until then, I salute you. Boom. Yeah, break it down.